So tonight is the first dress up night. Today is Saturday, uh, technically a rival day for most people. And it's Hula Billy. Um, Melissa crushed it with hers. She was supposed to get my costume and she just made me a tiki guy. What you doing, man? Ready for 90s night? <laughs> Low! Cubby, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you playing with your box? Hi, dude. Hi. We got Cub in a box. We got Dad making adventure meats. Is that what we're calling it? Adventure meat on a stick. Thai chili adventure meat. Well, hello there, fellow adventurers. We are at Escapers Bash 2023, and it's going to be a good time. So excited. So if you're not familiar with the X Scapers. With an X. With an X. With an X. It's like a little subgroup from the Escapers. Escapees. Escapees. God, I'm sorry. Escapees is the parent group. X Scapers is the working aged geared group, subgroup for traveling nomads, uh, part timers, full timers, but more geared towards a younger working aged crowd. Whereas All are welcome. Exactly. Whereas escapees is kind of more of like the retired, like older crowd, traditional RVers, if you will. Yeah. So I'm probably going to be completely wrong, but our first year was 2020. Correct. We missed COVID year because they didn't do it. And then we were back last year, which is 2022, mm -hmm. which is confusing because it feels weird to say 2023. Yeah. But it's January. So, you know. But yes, it is early in the year. So we arrived technically yesterday. We got the Jeep fixed because that was a whole debacle. That took me about three hours. Fun. <laughs> and what's really cool is if you arrive with your friends, you can park with your friends. Every year we meet more and more people. And I mean, there's probably 30, 40 people here that we consider good friends that we know well now. We have our friends, Chris and Aaron from Irene Travels. We have us here in the Imagine. And then we built this incredible courtyard here with Chris and James and Perpetual Moves. And then over here, you can see, tell them who those people are. Uh, so here, then gone, and then James and Kelly. And Kelly they're life and route. Right this route. is this is Nomad Mods, as you can tell by the five thousand, <laughs> the five thousand watts of solar on Sean's rig that they just finished. So they can basically light up a whole city, <laughs> which we might have to run extension cords from them. It's a little cloudy today. A little cloudy. All right. So this is the first family dress up night. Did you get your Name what? tag? Oh, sh talkies. Where is it? Oh no, it's on here. It's there? It was on my shirt. Oh, it's, it's on, on my shirt. There it's there. Okay. okay, so tonight is the first dress up night. Today is Saturday. Uh, technically a rival day for most people. And it's Hula Billy. Melissa crushed it with hers. She was supposed to get my costume and she just made me a tiki guy. I got you a shirt. And I, did a, I did a Hawaiian night instead. <laughs> But it's okay. It's really hard being full timers and doing these dress up nights because we can't have a lot of extra stuff. Um, so we do what we can. And I think we did good. But you gotta see Cub, show him Cub. Lincoln's got the best outfit. Lincoln. We'll have to take him out so everybody can see him. Yeah.
generation of Escape Bees family. My grandparents founded Escape Bees back in 1978. So, so really all the credit goes to them for sure, and also my parents who, who carried the torch on forward after that. But when Mel and I got involved, just to give you a little history of how Escapers came to be in Bath, we'd like to tell you a little short story. And it really came from when we got involved with Escapees and hit the road with our own kids and started meeting up with RVers on the road while we were in our own RV, not with my parents, because that's lame. Cubby, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you playing with your box? Hi, dude. We got Cub in a box. We got Dad making adventure meets. Is that what we're calling it? Adventure meat on a stick. Thai chili adventure meat. Thai chili adventure meat. Basically, tonight is the lot crawl night at Escapers Bash. Every section, we are in solar section, every section has um, a different item that they're responsible for. Ours is something on a stick. Uh, some people are doing like something sweet. Some people are doing something in a cup. So every, yep. every different section, solar, general family party yeah responsible so, for something some different type of item so five o'clock is solar session section which is us so we're gonna start here the whole 300 and whatever amount of rigs it's gonna start down here you kind of tour your rig if you want to you have a little appetizer and then eventually that's for an hour and then we go to the next section next and next mm -hmm. as a big group Hopefully the weather holds out for tonight. Yes, the weather has been screwing everybody here in solar uh, as of late, but the sun is finally out. Woohoo! And we're making the solar today, babe. Are we gonna have enough solar to run oh. the smoker? Oh yeah, we're good. Melissa wasn't really working much, so we actually shut our inverters off because it was been extremely rainy and cloudy, and we were able to get to 100% today. So that's like a little hack. Inverters, even if they're not inverting power, take power just at idle. So shut those off and just really juice up your batteries and then turn them back on when you need them. When I lead you to the dance floor You should know I hope for more called good morning so today is tuesday here at x keepers annual bash last night was the lot crawl which was like super fun you really 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 have to pace yourself by the time we cooked our own food and then made it up uh and then started walking ourselves we were pretty tired we ended up staying up till 10 o'clock at night with lincoln he took took a power nap in the backpack now today uh we are doing a group hike led by i don't know if you guys recognize that trailer but that is chris and aaron from irene iron travels and they're leading a group hike not really sure what we are doing yet we may be doing um sarah's crack but they were gonna check and make sure it wasn't too rainy i mean too muddy from the other day all the rain we had So Sarah's Crack, Slot Canyon, basically, a couple of scrambling places. Melissa and I have done it many, many times, but Lincoln, who is fast asleep, has never done it before, and he's gonna miss it. He's gonna miss it. So hopefully we can get down nice and easily with the youngin. Many people, many, many people here to help. So that's what Escapers is all about.
made the slot canyon pretty easily. We had a huge group, so everybody was able to help everyone. That's what's great about a club. Mostly middle-aged people. We had two babies, I think one dog, and we all made it nicely. Then you guys could see that shot here. We were a beautiful view of Lake Havasu, I believe. Might be considered the river at that point, but you know, Lincoln wants to talk. What's up? Many hours later. Cub, what you doing, man? Ready for 90s night? Woohoohoohoo! Jurassic Park! Woo! Woohoohoo! Ready to roll! 90s, man! Let's do it! I got my NSYNC shirt on. We got some Nirvana and some Jurassic Park going on. Yeah, so here's another theme night here at Bash, and Cub just pulled off his cool hat. 90s night, and they have a 90s band, so that should be pretty fun. This is our favorite part about these events, is the dress-up nights. Yeah, if you don't dress up, you're Five. lame! You're lame! Well, hello everyone. We are continuing our adventure on the Escapers Annual Bash. Today is Wednesday and today we going jeeping. We are going down to Cattail Cove, which is the trail that we also did last year. And we had some issues with the jeep. So Yeah, hopefully we don't have issues again. We'll probably take it a little easier this, this year. Yeah. Uh, it's a huge group and uh, we have Lincoln this year. Last year, mom was pregnant. But it's a pretty fun trail. A little bit of dirt roads, a lot of it is in a wash. And then towards the end, it gets more and more rock crawling. And it's nice because it's in a wash with rocks and there's all lines available. So you could take medium, hard, or easy. You can do a complete bypass of the obstacles, most of them anyway, so. Yeah, most likely do lunch or snack on the trail. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we'll kind of walk around, show you some of the Jeeps and you're gonna be seeing a bunch of stuff throughout the day. If it's not something, it's always something. We're having a super good time doing the wash and some of the different uh, hill climbs over here in the Jeep. And unfortunately, we hopefully just blew a rear wheel seal. And this is after we fixed the brakes. So. so you can probably tell we're losing a lot of differential fluid. So we did our best to park it on the side to where all the fluid will be going out the other way. And our game plan is to enjoy the rest of the day on the trail and then me and Melissa are gonna have a longer day and uh, we're gonna have to go get some fluid, top it off, and then uh, just tear it all apart when we get home. It's gonna be super fun. So last year we did the same trail and this little waterfall was way smaller. So obviously the rains have eroded it quite a bit. I think we're gonna bring the ram down it. I think it'll be okay. And then over here, like where Melissa's standing, we had one Jeep drop down there, and then there's a fun bonus line over there. So, well, that's what's really cool about Cattail Cove is there's literally all trails for all different types of builds, um, all on this one trail. There's different lines all on this one trail. See how she does with the big old massive truck. It's good. Nice and slow. You're on the sliders. You're good. Slow, slow, okay. Now go towards me. Slow, you're gonna drag the rear, it's okay. All the events, the team that you are battling against 
is whichever team also happens to be at that event when you get there. There are 10 games. We have bronze, silver, and gold medals. And if there is a tie, it will go to Fluffy Bunny. So one of our favorite nights was the Escapers Olympics. Basically, you grab a few friends, four to five people, and you make a team and you do a bunch of inflatable field games and also some, I would say, kind of college style games like flip cup and beer pong and stuff like that. They have this one game where you hook on like a monkey tail and you try to pick up like a little horseshoe type thing. They have one where you have to like walk across a room with an egg on a spoon. You're holding the spoon in your mouth and a ton of like inflatable games. My personal favorite was the life-size foosball <laughs> and the obstacle course even though we did terribly on that one. Okay guys, tonight is one of the most popular nights of Escapers Bash. It is the mac and cheese throwdown. So everybody makes their famous mac and cheese and we all gather in Club Blue and everyone comes around and tastes all of the mac and cheeses and then votes for their favorite. We, of course, do not normally eat noodles, uh, so we made a cauliflower mac and cheese that we have been told is very delicious, uh, even by those that do not follow a low-carb way of eating like we do. I don't think that we are going to win just by virtue of the fact that it's not real mac and cheese, but that's okay. We're just here to have fun. I enjoy making this recipe and sharing it with others, so we're really excited about that. We'll see how it goes. No, not your kids. Toppings? Baby, sold out. all out. I've said it before and I'll say it again. These dress up nights are our favorite part. Yes, tonight is neon night. And if you're ever wondering the weirdest thing we have in our trailer, it's these wigs. For some reason, Melissa had them. We got oh, Cub yeah. dressed up here. He just got a little neon hoodie. Mom and dad are going all out. Tonight is neon night. Tonight is one of probably the best bands. Uh, their name is Light Bright and they're freaking sweet. So we're gonna show you guys some of that. We've been doing our best guys, but we've also been having a lot of fun. This is like kind of like a vacation for us in a sense. And there's just so much going on mm -hmm. every day. Tonight they provide us with a barbecue cooked dinner. So we're gonna go get some dinner right now and then we're gonna enjoy Light Bright. This is the last night here at Escapers Annual Bash 2023. Bash has come to an end yet again. Always a sad day when you gotta leave all your friends. Seems like once a year is not enough, but 
it's time to pack up move on down the road a few late departures you can pay to stay an extra day but i think we're leaving today it just makes more sense if you're looking to sign up to be an escaper and attend the next event use our affiliate link below to join the community